Meanwhile, right now, new at 5 o'clock, Georgia is about to make swatting a felony. The Georgia House approved a bill today that could lead to up to 10 years in prison and a $5,000 fine. Channel 2's Richard Elliott is at the Capitol now with how several lawmakers got swatted this year, including a swatting of the actual Capitol building. These two measures will make Georgia safer, uh, make people safer in their homes and neighborhoods. Duluth Republican Matt Reeves was all smiles minutes after the Georgia House overwhelmingly passed a measure that would make swatting a felony, punishable by up to 15 years in prison for a third offense. It also gave drive-by shootings a clearer definition under Georgia law, making that crime easier to prosecute too. I think that these two issues, uh, people are aware of them, they're disturbed that they're going on in Georgia, and the Georgia House fought back today. No one was more disturbed than some Georgia lawmakers. I didn't think until afterwards that uh, there are a lot of ways that could have gone wrong. Someone made a fake 911 call sending the SWAT team to Marietta Republican Kay Kirkpatrick's home the day after Christmas. She said she felt it was politically motivated, but it didn't achieve its intent. It's so inappropriate and doesn't accomplish anybody's goal, whatever the goal is. I'm not even sure what would motivate somebody to do something like that that could potentially result in loss of life. The bill makes swatting a felony punishable by up to 10 years for a first offense, 15 for a third. This bill says that in Georgia, we want to have public safety. We don't want to have SWAT teams call to people's homes uh, unnecessarily. And then we want to protect against drive-by shooters who are often drug dealers or gang members. The bill already passed the Senate, but because the House changed it a little bit to add the part about the drive-by shooting, now has to go back to the Senate for final passage. We're live at the State Capitol. Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News.